For more on this, we are joined by Irina Zyron, who is in Moscow. She's a PhD candidate in political science at the National Research University Higher School of Economics. Irina, do you think Russian President Vladimir Putin underestimated Ukraine's sense of national identity and their willingness to defend their country? Uh, good morning. Uh, it's very difficult to say if there was an estimation because we don't know what they started from. Um, the sense of national identity is one thing. The other thing is the weapons that has been provided to Ukraine to fight the war. So I don't think it's actually about the national identity. It's about the whole situation, what's going on, and about the West supporting uh, Ukraine and probably uh, making the suffering of Ukrainian people worse. Uh Russian leader Vladimir Putin went into this war in part to prevent NATO's expansion. But has it served the opposite purpose? Has it galvanised NATO's resolve? Um, well, maybe. But I think, as I understood from what has been said, is that this was inevitable. So it doesn't matter if Russia would involve in Ukraine or it didn't involve Ukraine. Uh, NATO would be there anyways, so uh, it was actually the last resort and that was um, an attack that would serve to protect Russia, not to uh, suffer from the attack first. Uh, do you think the fact that this hasn't been an easy war so far for Russia has damaged Vladimir Putin's reputation? Uh, I don't think so. As far as we know, uh, of course, there can be people who are against it. And uh, in general, the Russian population is obviously against killing the innocent people. Uh, I think uh, he still has the support and I think uh, he has a supporting majority of population because Russians now feel that sanctions are not against are just the uh, government or just against the actions of Russia. It's against the whole population. And sometimes it's against uh, Russian-speaking people who can be not even Russian because Russian-speaking population lives all over the world. And they can be the, uh, like the people who were from the uh, Soviet Union. They can be from different nationalities. They can be different ethnicities. But because they speak Russian and because they appreciate Russian culture, they can be under attack. So I think... Uh, uh, more and more populations are going to support it because this is not against the government's action or the economy just because of the oligarchs. This is against the whole people who appreciate Russian culture. Irina Zyron, thank you for your perspective out of Moscow. Thank you for having me.